Welcome back into K-State Online. I'm Mason Voth, joined by Drew Galloway as we continue to break down some commitments to the Wildcats for you as we do each and every time a big one drops for K-State. And they get another recruit in the class of 2024 that has flipped for them, this time a running back, another offensive addition for K-State. And uh, this is going to be one that uh, there's some intrigue here on what it could be because Devon Rice, who is from Las Vegas, played at the very you know famed Bishop Gorman High School, was committed to Hawaii. Maybe not like the most explosive re- recruitment, but give us some background on Devon Rice here, Drew. Uh, it's kind of interesting because this one has been in the works for a, a minute now, and it all kind of came together pretty quickly uh, because K State showed some interest in like October, November. He actually visited for the Baylor game on November 11th as an unofficial visit. And at that time, it kind of goes under the radar because, you know, it was an unofficial. There's typically a lot of uh, other recruits that are in the building. So nobody really kind of thought of much at that point. And then we started here, I think it was last week, where, hey, like Devon Rice is a name that you need to know because this could be... A potential commit and he could go into the class and and the, ex, the expectation is that he was going to sign with k-state even last week so it all kind of comes together uh pretty quickly and another interesting thing is that uh he had this the offer from k-state for a while but chose to kind of like cal and barda uh when k-state offered and he was about to visit decided to post the offer right before he visited and I think that's kind of to show like, hey, like this is why I'm visiting this school like they've offered me. Like, I feel like I should go and just kind of see what it's like and everything that kind of that entails. So it, it's interesting on that front. Well, this is something that K-State's been working on for a while. And even with uh, the change in offensive coordinator from Colin Klein to whoever ends up getting the job, that it it didn't really impact uh, this recruitment much because this was a lot of Brian Anderson, the running backs coach, and a lot of Josh Buford, the uh, offensive analyst, where they kind of put in the work uh, behind the scenes and ended up landing Rice. Well, what 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 should we expect impact wise from Devon Rice? Like, what what is the the type of player, and and how does he fit into uh, K State's future plans? Uh, impact wise, it, it's interesting when you think about it because of kind of what the running back room looks like right now, because you right now, uh, Rice would be the f- only one of four uh, scholarship running backs that K-State has right now uh, with uh, obviously DJ Giddens and then Joe Jackson and uh, John Price and now uh, with Devon Rice. So you expect that he would get to play at least a little bit because it's very rare to like go to go through the season with only using two running backs especially with the workload that dj giddens has had before where you kind of you would like a third one for insurance and as that stands right now he is probably more college ready right now than john price is because with Devon Rice, it's kind of like what we talked about with Trey Davis. He just has more of a skill set to that can translate and see the field right away because Devon Rice is another one that he's a pretty quick guy. Like he, he's not the biggest, but we, we've we seen that that hasn't mattered at K-State. And when you look at K-State's history of running backs, Devon Rice is actually kind of big <laughs> at 5'9", which is kind of interesting. But he has more of a skill set that's able to play right away because he probably has more explosiveness, is quicker and another kind of interesting fun fact and what makes this recruitment so interesting is that devon rice's stats won't blow you away when you look at just their raw numbers but you go to the average number and you're like holy cow because he's he's averaging uh i can't remember how many yards per carry it is off the top of my head but he's averaging a pretty big number uh yards per carry wise and it's an, it's interesting that it's that high and that he hasn't had many carries well, it's because he's not the starter at Bishop Gorman at running back because Bishop Gorman is just so loaded with talent that he's a guy that, yeah, he's committed to Hawaii at that at that time and now is committed to K-State. But he didn't start for Bishop Gorman because they're that loaded. 
Yeah, I think that's that was the the thing that I thought of and and immediately took note of. Like, this is a guy that if he's able to stand out as not being the the number one running back, but still obviously you know have a a place that he was committed in Hawaii, but now is is on the radar of K State and is, is is a wildcat now. That that tells you that there there is something that still stands out there, and that this is a a uh, probably I don't know that flyer is the right term, but. This is a, a a reasonable pickup for K State, and you know you're kind of hoping that you you strike gold here, and everybody else misses out just because they were overlooking the guy that wasn't getting uh, the the number one reps. And another interesting thing is that uh, K State wasn't the only Power Four team that was interested in Devon Rice. Like we we don't have names out there, but he had other offers from Power Four schools, and just chose K State and chose to not post them which is interesting because like I, I initially thought that we wouldn't hear that Devon Rice had an offer from Casey from Rice until he committed. So it was interesting that he did post the offer. Um, and like I said, like we, we don't have names, but he was a very wanted man uh, near the end of his recruiting cycle. Well, this is a uh, seemingly good pickup for the Wildcats. And now they add uh, another another young player to the stable that they have behind DJ Giddens for next season. But uh, the opportunity for him to step up obviously will be there, and uh, you you know Joe Jackson probably has the leg up on everybody, but outside of that, uh, there's a lot of open space for some extra work to uh, to get there for these young guys that are coming into the program. Oh yeah, and like with Devon Rice, the other insurance thing it kind of goes with you probably need another running back. Uh, Devon Rice will be enrolling early in January, so he'll be able to go through the winter and the spring. And you'd think that that would kind of get him up to speed uh, rather quickly because we've seen it with Jace Brown uh, this uh, this season where he enrolled early and got to see the field right away. We saw it with Austin Romaine, we saw it with Avery Johnson. Getting on campus early is huge, especially towards where are you going to play right away. Like it, it's rare for somebody and shows kind of how – mature and ready for college that Asa Newsom was that he was able to play in the first four games and didn't enroll early. Yeah, that's true. Uh, and obviously there were a lot of guys from the 2023 class that saw the field in significant ways this season. Uh, the, the 2024 class, depending on the guy there, there are going to be some opportunities there. It would seem as well. So K-State adds Devon Rice, big commit for them. I believe that's now number 13 in the cycle, if I'm not mistaken, uh, for the the high school recruits. And we'll see uh, what everything looks like by the time that signing day is finished. But this is another pickup for the Wildcats that they are pretty pleased with. So for Drew Galloway, I am Mason Voth. Be sure to check out K-State Online over at On3 for all of your K-State news and information that you want. Get signed up if you're not, and keep coming back here to the K-State Online YouTube for all the KSO shows and any updates on recruiting that you need obviously uh, you've seen before this the Easton Kilty video and Trey Davis as well so these will keep coming in as the Wildcats continue to add to their roster because uh, it certainly doesn't seem like they'll be done until honestly like this is with transfer portal season they're probably going to be adding guys maybe even through the spring now because you never know what happens uh, with spring ball and how that goes but a lot of things to, to do for K-State to still improve the roster. Devon Rice is a piece of that, and uh, that will do it for us. Thank you for watching.